Okay, so whichever method you've used to finish the leading and trailing edges, it's time now to make the control surface hinge. And what that is comprised of is a notch that is cut in the lower surface of the wing that is 90 degrees or so at the leading edge part and 45 degrees or so at the trailing edge. So it's straight cut here and beveled cut there. And that permits a downward excursion of 45 degrees, which is more than ample for most applications and an unlimited upward excursion of that control surface, which should meet all applications. This hinge is formed by tape on the top surface, a little piece of paper backing that's left on the foam board and the intermediate part, and then there is tape crossing the hinge in this case. This is clear tape, so you can't see it. But what I typically actually do is use the same color tape so it makes a nice invisible hinge and so notice that the paper has been removed from the foam for about three quarters of an inch here and then the paper has been left here so I'm going to make my control surface about one and a half inches and so I'll make my straight cut first by applying a straight edge there and I really like to use a clamp or some other instrument to hold that in place a nice clean fresh blade that you haven't cut anything else with and here you want to score about halfway through a little more is better, but be certain not to cut through the other side. Okay, so here is this, this straight 90 degree cut. I've just marked it so you can see it. And that is going to be perpendicular to the board. And then the second cut is going to be about one board thickness away and angled towards the first cut at about 45 degrees. So it's going to cut like this. I'm going to place my straight edge about one board thickness or about a quarter inch away from my original cut. Hold that in place and then as much as you're comfortable try and make the blade intersect the first cut when you make your second cut but at least get the paper about halfway through so you'll be able to peel that little strip out okay so now I've drawn a line over both of those cuts and now it can confidently be opened up and then this strip of foam board and just be removed from the gap. Almost invariably you'll still need to sand these down a little bit. I like to use a drywall sanding sponge to make the first cut exactly 90 degrees and then just finish the second cut down to about the 45 degrees that you need so that when those fold together you get a nice clean contact and also this will accept the tape as you apply over it. Exposing a little piece of the paper there helps the tape to adhere up into the hinge. Okay, once you've got that nice and sanded down, you've confirmed that you've got the downward and upward excursion that you need. You wouldn't have drawn these lines on there, so this would be nice and consistent color. Then what you'll do is fold the control surface up against the top and be applying the tape first to the leading edge part of your control surface. And this is a little tricky with obviously a, a real long control surface. It can be helpful to refer to my foam board covering a video as to how to lay down long strips of packing tape. I'm just going to use a small piece as a sample and apply about one third of the width of it on the first surface like that, smoothing down as needed. And then this is where the trick of this method comes in is to just run your finger back and forth, back and forth to get that tape to lay down nicely into that little valley of the hinge once it hits the paper that's exposed, you'll no notice that it, the adherence begins to improve. And then go right across to the rear control surface. And at that point, you can generally fold up the hinge. And you'll see that your tape is kind of sticking out of the hinge valley like that. And then you can finish that up by using a gift card or credit card. And then just pushing it back getting it to lay down nice and flat. You'll often have a few little wrinkles depending on how much you take your time and how what of a perfectionist you are but otherwise trim that off and you'll have a nice double taped paper hinge. And here I've completed one long section of control surface with a hinged full length about a one and a half inch control surface and about a two and a half inch stationary surface that I can apply to whatever plan I need it for. And typically what I do is merely cut that straight at whatever distance I want the horizontal stabilizer and then a vertical stabilizer with a rudder. 
and whatever excess may be used for another plane later.